Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back to Civ 5 as Sweden. We are picking up precisely where we left off in the last episode because because I I took about a half hour to get a few things done. I had to make some phone calls and take out the trash and some other stuff. So, so yeah, we're going to pick up right where we left off at the end of the last episode. And uh, uh, this one's going to be a bit shorter than normal. I think I'm only going to do about a 20, yeah, 20, 25 minute episode. So... Alright, with that, we shall get back. Alright, the pistol fires, we got a great scientist, and that's going to be a huge boost. Uh, I need to discover flight, because that's actually going to do something for us now. Okay, we got flight, and well, we're going to discover flight right now. Sikorsky! I'm not entirely sure what Sikorsky did for avi aviation, but I know I know those are a whole brand of helicopters and planes uh, named after him. Sikorsky. I, I mean, I've heard of Sikorsky Aviation, but I'm not sure what Igor Sikorsky himself did. So... Everybody say hi to uh, Double D. Honestly, though, that Steam thing of when the friends are doing something, I wish you could turn that off so it doesn't display in-game. Because, I mean, I, have you ever noticed when you're watching some of the other YouTubers and they're playing, a game and they're playing something that's on Steam? You ever, you ever see that, how, you know, the bottom of the screen through half the video, you'll, you'll see the, all these pop-ups... This this friend's playing this game. This friend's playing that game. This friend was play, playing this game. Oh no, he's playing this game. It, it it's a little distracting. It, it, you know. So so yeah. All right, nothing over there. And that one's a little dicey. Somebody could get that in their territory. Yeah, that's also a little dicey because if the territory expands to there. find sites that aren't inside of anybody's territory then that way when I go to them I don't have any huge complaints whoa why are you doing this on my territory which is another thing I think I said that in the first video is that archaeologists should not have to have open borders to do their to go to a site. I mean, I mean, if caravans and cargo ships don't need open borders, the same thing should apply to archaeologists. button there. Um, I'm gonna do this one here. And then, uh, then after that I'm gonna either go straight down the exploration tree with the next set of policies or straight down the aesthetics tree. Uh, I'll worry about commerce later. Although I probably should have gotten that one already. Well, I don't 
don't really care about Belgrade, to be honest with you. There's the heat, and you know it's pretty in the summer, in the city. Burka! Actually... Actually, you might as well, Burka. You're pretty much already the manufacturer, the production capital of my empire anyway. Plan B now, cause my route's been cut off by this this small sliver of territory that that they just got has cut off my route up to uh, up to here. And see, see, now it's going to take even longer for that settler to get up to that city. Well, which one, which was going to be the springboard for capturing Paris to build the Apple Tower and Sweden in Paris. Now, now you see why in the last episode I elected to just ditch the whole idea of building the Eiffel Tower in Paris and Sweden and just build the damn thing and get it done. yourself to be the first civilization on this continent that I'm going to declare war on with my new modern units. Yeah, I don't care about the uh, tile improvement that's on that tile because you can always replace that tile improvement. Once the site's gone, whatever tile improvement was there, the workers can put back. <coughs> that's what I was trying to say. I mean, come on. I mean, seriously. You never know English was my... Uh, my primary language. Of course, as any British person will tell you, Americans don't speak true English. We speak American English, and they speak real English, which, you know, honestly, I don't give a crap. It's, it's the same language. The only difference is, you know, we're in America, they're in England, so it's pretty much the same language. As far as I'm concerned. Oh, 
Although, I will give him this point. The slang terms used in Britain and the slang terms used in America, totally and completely different sets of terms than what you would normally have in in just the regular English language. I will give them that point. The slang terms in Britain and the slang terms in America, two totally and completely different sets of terminology. I will give them that one. All right, we're gonna build a stable here and Oh, excuse me, sir, what are you drinking? I'm drinking Venta. <laughs> Sorry. I know, a bad pawn, but. I keep wondering if I should, if I should go into the map, map settings and fill in this little section here. I don't know, this, 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 this it, it just looks weird having that that's just jut out like that. At least it does to me, so I don't know. I I do need to go in need to load up the world builder though and 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 I do need to modify the map a little bit. Not not from what I've already done to it, but there's I have noticed a few areas where, you know, there are rivers that have weird starting locations and their endpoints don't exactly mess, mesh up just visually for me. They don't really mesh up that well with, with the way the coastline works where they end. So I do need to go and just, you know, just do a little bit of, you know, housekeeping on the map just to make sure it looks more visually appealing. So, I'll probably do that in between the end of this episode and the beginning of the next episode, whenever I start that next episode. No, 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 I, I am... analysis I don't right now I have no interest in I, I'm not interested in going to war going to war with Siam I'm just not interested in it right now oh that's right I forgot about that you need to build a monument first then yeah that's right monument amphitheater then Opera House, yeah. I mean, it, I don't know if that was in this ser in this series or the Canada series that I said that, but but you see, this this is what I'm this is what I'm getting at is that you know the National Wonders don't get built that often by uh, by people playing the higher difficulties because well you know it's just such an investment in time and buildings. And, you know, more often than not, on the higher difficulty settings, you're better off building up a huge military and, and keeping your aggressive neighbors in check than you are building libraries and opera houses and all that other stuff, so... Still, I gotta say one one thing about the embargo that was enacted on me. I did absolutely nothing to Ethiopia whatsoever. Never even went anywhere near their territory until I found out who they were. And they're the ones who wanted the embargo against me. That just, it, it doesn't seem kind of strange. I could see, you know, the Dutch or the Indonesians or the Chinese, the English, 
any other sieves on my continent wanting an embargo against me, but another sieve on a continent against me, and it's, it just, I don't know. And see, that's why I was saying that the AI in the game can just, it can just be ridiculously stupid sometimes. Town, somewhere in the city, back of my neck and burn the birdie. Oh, I didn't even know Kev wanted me to, to build the Eiffel Tower. It's a good thing I did. Bam. I want to say one word to you. Just one word. Plastics. <laughs> Buck Henry and Calder Willingham, the graduate. Yeah. Yep, the most powerful entry unit in the game is a mechanized infantry, and and I will get I will have a city that will build nothing but in, infantry because well yeah uh huh culture cost of adopting new policies reduced by ten percent of course okay. Oh, that's right. I keep forget. I keep forgetting that 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 wonder is empire wide and not and not city wide. Wait, I sorry, you know. Create Spanish artifact. Okay. Let me just see something. Ancient, ancient. Renaissance, Renaissance. Modern. Do I have any other me medieval era stuff? Renaissance. That's odd that this artifact stuff is going to a cathedral and not, uh, not a museum. Oh, that would have been the perfect quote to use for the archaeological things. You know, the screen that comes up on, on, on the archaeological things, that would have been the perfect thing to use. It's Indiana Jones line in Last Crusade with the cross. Uh, I think it was cross, was it the cross of Coronado or the cross of Cortez? I don't remember which one, it, which figure it was supposed to be. But the, he kept on, it, whenever he had the cross in his hands, he kept on saying, it belongs in a museum. And that would be the perfect line for the archaeological digs when they come up. It belongs in a museum. Oh. Okay. Two great works of art and two artifacts with all four being from different eras and different civilizations. Okay. That's ancient era. 
That's industrial era. Okay, that's medieval era, so that can go in here. Now I just need something. Well, they gotta be for different civilizations and different eras. Okay, so if I can get something that's Renaissance era, let's see. Industrial, industrial, industrial. Ooh, ooh. Hold up, hold up. Boom! Show place for industrial Swedish music. And all I had to do was move a few things around. Okay, if I, yeah, this right here. Great artist, so I need to trade that with somebody. Can I, can I swap something with somebody? I need... Oh, perfect, Renaissance. Okay, there's... No, 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 for, for ours. Which is the one? No, wait, wait, wait. I gotta... Which one am I trading here? Oh, right. Duod. Um, I need... Right there. And put it there, and boom! I got the theming bonus. Oh, that is absolutely perk. Absolutely perfect. Got the theming bonus, and those theming bonus have just boosted my culture tremendously. Phew! Okay! All right, you build a research lab. Helsinki, you build a factory. Not like you need to. Military base. And actually... I'm just going to give you a hard... Oh. That one way up there is what they wanted. The, what you could improve. Hmm. Alright, whatever. I don't really care. They're not they're not angry with us anymore, so that's that was really the main reason I did that. Where's the next city? Uh, well, nice to know that you're not producing anything, but what about, is there any others? Yeah, Barcelona and Vienna, yeah, that's gonna be an issue. Okay, Barcelona, factory. 
I know I've done it in a lot of factories, but you kind of sort of... In order to build some of the other stuff in the game, it kind of requires you to have fa a factory in a city. I mean, you know... Can't build a solar, pl solar power plant in a city if I don't already have... Yeah, so... Yeah. No, I'm not giving you open borders if you're not giving me open borders. And I don't care how many times I've said that in this series. Open borders for money is not a straight up fair trade. Get over it! Stop your bitching, okay? Alright? All, all I did, I built a wonder of the world, and they were extremely happy that I built the wonder of the world. I didn't do anything else, so you know what? Okay. Uh, natural wonder found yeah the Great Barrier Reef which is off the coast of Australia uh, no I don't have I don't have any reason to go to war against him so um, let me get this so I can increase my gold okay do the hydro plant there. There's a factory there. Uh huh. Research lab in Madrid. Actually, if I can't, if I can, how long is it going to take me to build that there, heroic epic? Only three turns. All right, then do it. Um, Seville, don't do that yet. I have another city that can do. You do that. You do that. Alright, 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 alright. All right. I'll do it in S poo. Yeah, well, well, let me see. Because. Alright. By the end of summer. I down there in the city and back of my neck and burn the burning room. Deveremos prosperar através do comércio? No, no interest. I think I said that in the Canada series, but pay, the leader of Portugal is Pedro's grandmother. And that's kind of an interesting. Uh, you, uh, Wilhelm, you won't be saying that when I'm taking Rotterdam from you. Come on, come on. Eighteen ninety six. Again, I will. I would declare war on Bismarck, but not yet. I still need some others. I still need to do some other things. Actually, let me see Uppsala. How long would it take you to build? Okay, six turns. What about? What about you? How many turns would it take you? Six turns? I'm just trying to figure out which city would be best. The least amount of turns it takes to build something in a city, like a wonder, 
that tells you what the production level of the city is. So six turns. Salzburg, eleven turns. Yeah, it doesn't look like it doesn't looks like it's not gonna matter. I think I think I'm just gonna wind up going with my original plan, Aspo. Nah, uh, Cristo Redentor it is all yours. You know, it feels kind of weird that I'm building that because uh, I'm recording this the day after the Brazil-Germany game in the 2014 World Cup. And all I've got to say, the, the Germans, they... I... I'm sorry, there's, there's just no other way to say it. To say it. I mean... The, the Germans, it was as if it was um, Muhammad Ali was going up against um, some, and it's almost as if it was a fight between Muhammad Ali and some, and some 15 year old kids from the local Boys and Girls Club. I, 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 I mean, I mean, that game was not a contest. Germany, that is a beatdown of epic proportions. I mean, I, I mean, seriously, that game was Brazil's worst loss in a competitive match in history of the country. And I, I mean, I'm not, I don't really. I, I'm not really a follower of, of soccer or football, but even I know that when you score four goals in a half, that, that, the game's over. Brazil's afraid of me. Good. They should be. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look, this area down here. That's what I was also... This is also something I need... To, I was, I, I was talking about when I was saying that I need to go into the World Builder and do some house cleaning on this map because, cause, I, mean, I mean, this ice flow right here, the only thing I could build that would go through it is a, sub is a submarine. And you really don't get those until late in the game. So it's kind of like, you know, okay, I should probably do some house cleaning on this map so earlier stuff in the game, like the galleys and the triremes and that stuff, actually have a path way from from one side of the continent through the southern reaches of the continent to the other side. I'm just gonna have this great engineer go Oh Ben Franklin. I'm gonna have him just chill out over here until I really actually need him for something. Because as you can see, I don't really have any own wonders or anything to really worry about right now, so I'm good pretty much. Hospital three turns. Stock exchange. Oh, oh, oh. I want the military base, not the broadcast tower. I know telecommunications is a little ways away from me, but. Oh! Okay! <laughs> I, I, for, 
forgotten that Madrid is the holy city for Catholicism, so go ahead, build it. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, those two. Oh! I swear, these... I, I wish you could capture the prophets. I, I wish you didn't have to declare war to capture a great person. I, I, I wish I could just... Just like... Send a unit out from a city and... And capture a great prophet and do like you could with any other games where you could just uh, this person this this person was in our territory we've captured him what do you want to do and then you could just say interrogate and return the prisoner you know and the problem is is he's got two of them coming over here so they can spread religion four times a turn, four, four times, so I can be looking at what most of my cities being converted to its religion. Ugh. Tell you, if I wasn't thinking about, about getting rid of Ethiopia before, I am thinking about it now. That is true. And you know what else? We're gonna call it an episode here. Uh, I've gone on a few minutes longer than I than I was planning on, but you know, to get to this point, I figured you know what, might as well just keep going. So uh, I will see you all for the next episode. I don't know when that's going to be, but it will be sometime relatively soon because I've got a few things I need to get worked out before uh, before I go on, on hiatus for a little bit. So I will see you all uh, for the ne next time we pick up the Civilization V as Sweden series. And uh, have a nice morning, evening, or night, whenever you're watching this. So uh, I will see you all next time.